Hi, I'm Carol O'Mara, horticulture entomologist with Colorado State University Extension in Boulder County. In the middle of summer, one of the best jewels of the garden are small fruits. And while we normally think of the small fruits as, say, strawberries, raspberries, and their like, one of the things that you should consider are the ribes, or gooseberries and currants. Gooseberries are coming into their own right at this time of the year, and if you've never tasted them, here's a short primer on how to harvest them and when to enjoy them. Gooseberries can be used either in jams or sauces for meats, or they can be used for fresh eating. When you want to pick them makes all the difference. If you're going to be using a gooseberry for jams or jellies or any kind of a sauce or a pie or that type of thing, you want to pick them before they've ripened up, when they're just a little tart and the sugars haven't quite developed yet. They'll have a lot more pectin in them at that point and will really set up nice in your jams and jellies. So a gooseberry will start out like this. It'll swell up nice and plump and then it'll be green for a little bit. Once it starts to blush up and ripen, then you're dealing with a lot of sugars coming into the berry. You want to pick your gooseberries when they're nice and green, young like this, if you're going to be using them in pies and jams or for sauces over meats where you want things to taste tart. But if you want fresh eating so you can put down a nice summer table when guests come over, wait until they've fully colored up. Some of them are just going to blush, but this particular variety here, like Welcome, really gets a nice dark red. You simply pick the berry off, go ahead and pull off the stem and the little flower on the end, and pop them into your mouth for fresh eating. They're delicious. And you can use gooseberries for a lot of different things. I encourage you to try some. A note of caution, though, when you're picking gooseberries. Gooseberries have a lot of thorns on the stems. They can be pretty long and wicked too, which is why they make a great hedgerow if you're trying to keep people from cutting across your property. But when you're picking, this is not so much fun. So you want to avoid those thorns and pick carefully. Otherwise, wear long sleeves so you're not getting all scratched up when you're getting your delicious treat for the table. A close relative of the gooseberry, also in the Ribes clan, are currants. And there are a bunch of different types of currants, say black currants or white currants, but the most popular and the easiest to work with are red currants. This is a little bit of a shrub that you have in your landscape, and it has these beautiful small leaves, but really the treasure happens when all of these berries start coming into their, their own. They're a little bit different than gooseberries, whereas we saw that the gooseberry was born singly on the stalk. These are forming nice cascades of very tiny berries that you can slough off as you're harvesting just by gently pulling down. These berries, the Red Lakes, are going to be ripening up and turning this brilliant crimson red. They're going to look like tiny droplets of jewels dangling from the shrub itself. How you tell if your currants are ready to use is all up to color and feel. Currants will get soft and be a brilliant color when ripe. These are just ready for fresh eating. But if you're looking to use some of these in jams and jellies, again, you want to pick them just before they've gotten soft so that the pectin levels are really high in them and they're going to go ahead and set up nicely in your jams and jellies. Don't forget, currants make a lovely liqueur. So if you're looking to infuse some different types of, say, vodkas or other types of alcohols with a nice light currant flavor, you want to go ahead and pick these when they're nice and ripe and at full flavor. They're sweet at that point. Or you can dry them down and use them much like you would a raisin. Currants are really versatile in the garden and they're so easy to harvest. All you do is grab them and shuck them right from the stem. I hope you enjoy some of these small fruits this summer. Take a look around and see what else you can enjoy. I'm Carol O'Mara, helping you garden.